All right, so for today's video, we're going to create a Debian virtual machine uh, with copy and paste abilities in Proxmox. We're going to be setting up a Nginx reverse proxy server, and we're going to be installing a certificate from Let's Encrypt using CertBot. Uh, the reason why I'm setting this up is I want access to my Plex server uh, from outside my home. However, I do not want to expose my Plex server directly to the internet. So I'm going to use a reverse proxy uh, to ensure that it is the only thing facing out to the outside uh, internet. Uh, I will eventually add other applications behind this re reverse proxy and I will add uh, mod security um, web application firewall in a later video. However, for now, we're, ju we're just going to, going to install those things I just mentioned. So let's go ahead and, and start off here. Okay, so right now you're going to download uh, the latest Debian version. Let's go and do that. Here's the file, and let's save that to the desktop. Let's give that a second to download. All right, it looks like it's downloaded. Now we're going to upload that image. Okay, it looks like I've already uploaded that image, but this is where you'll upload it. You'll select it from the desktop and then upload it. All right, so let's go ahead and create our virtual machine. I'm going to name it Reverse Proxy. Click Next. Let's go to the image that we downloaded. Click Next. Click Next. Uh, disk size. I'm going to allocate it at the the thirty the default thirty two gigabytes. Uh, CPUs. I'm going to give it four four cores. Uh, for memory, I'm going to do 4 gigs, 40, 96. Uh, and the rest of everything, we're good to go. Uh, so it will create that virtual machine. Another note, the reason why I'm creating a virtual machine and not a container, because I want it to use its own resources, and I want the only those resources exposed uh, to the Internet. All right, so let's go ahead and create uh, uh, copy and paste abilities. So let's go to the Proxmox instance. Let's go to its shell and then type in uh, this command. And if you notice the 102, that refers back to this virtual uh, machine instance. Once you have that done, let's click enter. All right. And now let's go to the reverse burst proxy virtual machine. We'll go ahead and start it and let's install uh, Debian. Uh, this install is straightforward. Uh, name it whatever you would like. Uh, put everything on, uh, install the entire thing uh, on the 32 gigabyte that you uh, allocated or whatever you may have allocated. And I'm going to pause the video right here and we'll come back. All right, we're back. This is the first uh, reboot of the virtual machine. And let's get logged in here once it runs through its uh, posting. Okay, let's go ahead and get logged in. All right, first thing we're going to do, we're going to go up to this network adapter here. We're going to click wired wired settings and we're going to uh, select this gear icon uh, take down this IP address because it'll be used for a later step so make note of that drop mine down real quick okay now let's go up to activities 
click on the apps let's go to the terminal all right now we're going to su root type in the password and we're going to this this will be to finish off our uh, copy and paste abilities so we're going to do an app get install spice dot vd agent all right once that's done let's do a reboot get logged in again all right now we're going to have copy and paste abilities here and it's going to work flawlessly here all right let's open up another terminal let's get started here let's do an su root type in the password uh let's cd down we're going to do an apt update All right, now we're going to install uh, Nginx. So let's nano etc at dot sources list. Okay. Okay, within this file, we need to post uh, the URLs to download Nginx. Um, I'm, at, I'm using Debian. Uh, however, uh, the Nginx software is using uh, Ubuntu's um, versioning so you're going to have to match uh, Debian's version which which in this case is bookworm to Ubuntu's uh, operating system version which is jammy and in, in, in this particular uh, instance so I'm going to copy those URLs paste them in here now I'll be able to paste them in here all right let's do a control X and save uh, and we're going to do an app update again. All right, we're having an error. So take note of this key. We're going to have to use this command right here. we need yep worked all right so now let's install nginx we're doing app get install nginx all right and we're going to do a system ctl Start engines. Alright, so let's navigate to the engines configuration file. Alright, and this step you want to copy the default config that you see here. Uh, you're going to copy it and create it your domain name dot config i'm going to uh, move this uh, window out of the way for privacy uh, reasons and i'll do it on this screen but this will give you that document will give you an idea of what we need to do here so we're going to do a cp default config 
your domain name dot config. There should be two config files in there now. Now we're going to do nano to your domains config file. We're going to delete everything that's in here currently. So let's just take some time to do this. Might take a little bit. It's still deleting here. I'm just backspacing all the way through. If I knew of a better way, I'd use it. All right, and we're going to scroll. This I'll have this available uh, on the video. So we're going to copy all this. This is for your new config file. We're going to copy it. You're going to put it in the clipboard. You're going to copy it again. And we're going to paste it in there. All right, so let's go through this file real quick. All right, so under server name, you're going to make it your uh, domain name or subdomain name. For set upstream, uh, this is going to be to my Plex server. So in my case, it's 192.168.2.14 with port 32400. And if you scroll on down, you'll see the uh, this this SSL certificate. You'll put your domain name where you see here. So I'm going ahead going to go ahead and do that with mine. Bear with me here. Let me double check the file. Make sure I typed in everything correctly. All right, let's go for a control X. Let's save. All right, next step, we're going to move that default config to our user's desktop. So let's just go ahead and do that real quick just to keep a copy of it and um, I don't know I like to keep stuff when I'm working on Linux just in case the configurations are shot alright so let's go ahead and move that file alright so from here you're going to go to your uh, domain host provider and enter your router's external facing IP address as an A record. So I'm going to do that on my end. And this will be, this will just be different depending on your host provider, domain host provider. Uh, and here's an example. You'll put in a host. This is uh, your domain name. And then the answer, this will be your external IP address. All right. Now we're, you're going to navigate to your router settings and allow port forwarding for the Debian's virtual machine IP address that you obtained earlier. You'll open up ports 443 and 80 with both TCP and UDP. And currently this is mine, so let me update on my end. 
I think you can scale this back to 443, if I'm not mistaken, just 443. Uh, now, uh, let's follow the rest of these steps right through here. And the reason why I'm keeping uh, the proxmox off the screen uh, with my that has my Debian virtual machine is for privacy concerns. So let's just walk through these steps one by one together here. So let's do an app dot get install cert bot. Okay. Click yes to continue installing it all right let's do an apt dot get install install python 3.certbot.nginx okay that's installed and now Let's use this command. I'm going to copy and paste it. All right, let's walk through these steps. Enter a valid email address. Okay. Uh, please read the terms and conditions, sure. Uh, would you be willing uh, once your first certificate is? No, I'm not willing. All right, now let's enter our domain name or subdomain name. have to uh, go back to our uh, host domain hosting provider and enter a text record with within the host field you're gonna do whatever it, it should be stating on there uh, under what name the text record needs to be under so this and then whatever the answer is there should be a number sort of looks like this just a series of characters and and numbers so let me do that on my end Updated. Alright. Now let's press continue. If you get yours. Alright, so successfully received certificate. Uh, from here, let's do a system CTL restart and jinx. And that was successful. So let me double check to make sure I can get to my Plex server from my domain name. So you can enter your domain name from here. And yep, it's, it's taken me to mine. So uh, if you were following along, you should be able to uh, uh, get to whatever it is that, that you're wanting to get to uh, through your reverse proxy now. So that's only one. Uh, system being exposed to the internet. Uh, on the next video, we'll set up a mod security uh, web application firewall and we'll harden our uh, reverse proxy. All right, thanks.